Hey everyone, it's Brandy from Brush by Brandy. I'm a furniture painter out of Sacramento, California. I'm also a brand ambassador with Dixie Belle Paint Company. And I'm here tonight because we're gonna do a palette party. We're having a palette party. So you guys hear about paint parties um, all over the place and they're all the rage right now and they're super fun to go to. So um, Dixie Belle is now offering products in partnership with palletparty.org to be able to make your own palette signs at home. Um, it's a super fun product. So let me show you a couple of options that they offer here. So the first thing you get to pick when you go to palletparty.org is you get to pick your palette sign. And they offer a bunch of different shapes. So this is one here, a basic rectangle. This one's a little bit staggered. They have circle options. So you get to choose the shape of your palette sign. And then they also um, offer a variety of different stencils. So this is a vinyl stencil. Um, and these come in uh, you, over 900 different designs they have on the website. So you really could be on there shopping for forever. Laura Bernard says hello. Hi. You guys, come on and let me know where you're watching <clears throat> from. Um, I'm here in Sacramento, California. I do want to take a minute. I've had a lot of people reach out to me and just ask about um, how close we are to the fires. There's um, some horrible fires going on in California right now, you guys. And thankfully, my husband and I are about an hour and a half away. Um, but we do have a lot of friends who are evacuated and who have lost their homes in Paradise, California, and the fire is going on right now. So um, thank you so much for everyone who's asked if we're safe. We are safe. And um, please, you guys, put the people in Paradise in your thoughts because um, a lot of homes have been lost just yesterday. So um, anyway, so this is one of the options that they offer. This is a sign I made on a, on a live earlier using the same product. So this one says a house is not a home without paw prints. And I like this because not only do you get to choose the shape of your sign, you get to choose the stencil. There's a whole bunch of um, holiday options on their site. Um, this one I made as a gift for my sister. My sister has uh, three dogs. And so I was able to customize this with colors for her home. Um, she does the blues and um, grays and teal videoing tonight. Um, we had a little incident <laughs> over here with a, our video being sideways. So we're going to try this again. And if you watched earlier and I was sideways. Okay, sorry about that, you guys. My Wi-Fi cut out. Um, let me know if you guys can see me now. Um, so what I was saying is once you choose the shape of your palette board, it's going to come in a, in a plain wood finish. And then you get to choose the background color. So I like these because it's a ready-made product. So Laura, tell me if the video looks any better now, now that I killed the Wi-Fi. Because you mentioned it looks a little blurry and it was breaking up. Uh, choppy picture. So hopefully this is a little better. Yeah, we're going to try using it off the Wi-Fi. I'm out here in the country, guys. We just built a new house and my Wi-Fi is... Southern like, Charm Decor Inside says hi. Is lacking. Hi. Um, <laughs> Dixie Bell says you look better. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. Not yeah, you. exactly. Um, so these come in a in a, in a ready to use wood finish. There's no sanding required. It's already nice and smooth. Thank um, you, Laura. Let me get this out of the way. Thanks, you guys, for helping out. So to get started, what I did is I took my board and I already put a base coat on here for the sake of time for the video. Um, my base coat on here that I used was Dixie Belle Stormy Seas, and then. Um, so I use Dixie Belle Stormy Seas. I was thinking this is a kitchen sign and what colors, you know, are, do I have around my kitchen that this would be friendly to? So we have white, grays, blacks in our kitchen. It looks into our living room. So I'm probably going to use even a little bit of mustard color. Cheryl Ann wants to know if you sell the stencils as well. Um, you, Cheryl Ann, <laughs> go to palletparty.org. There's the link I put in the headline of this post. They sell these stencils. So, um, Anybody on here, if you guys have your own vinyl cutter, a silhouette or a Cricut, um, you've made these signs or these stencil cutouts before. This is an alternative for those who do not have their own um, vinyl cutter or even people like me. I have my own and I still think this is way easier. It can take me an hour plus to cut a stencil sometimes. And um, these are very reasonably priced. I would be, I, I would go on and order a vinyl stencil. Where did you go again? Um, palletparty.org. So P A L L E T party.org. Um, they have over 900 stencil options. These are pre cut vinyl stencils. And I'm going to go through and show you guys how to use this. So 
So it comes in a package um, and there's three layers to your vinyl. There's your um, transfer tape layer, there's a black vinyl layer, and then there's a, a white backing that's on here. So when you get it, you're also going to get a, um, a card, and this is going to be what you use to release your stencil. Um, it's a flexible card. So I'm going to take this here. Patricia says hi from rainy New York. Hi. Oh, you guys are having rain. I we wish. some rain here in California, you guys. These fires are awful. Right Julie now. says hi from Texas. Hi. You guys, let me know if you've ever been to a pallet party. I'm really curious. This is actually something fun. I would go to a pallet party. I think of all the parties that women invite each other to, you know, our candle parties and our whatever parties, paint parties and palette parties would be probably the most fun. So once I have... Um, Snow in Washington. <laughs> yeah, I just look so close. <laughs> once I have released the backing of my stencil, I'm going to come here and I'm going to separate the backing off of this. And I'm going to peel this apart. Michelle says, yeah, she's literally pulled off the road to watch this. Oh. <laughs> Be safe, Michelle. Please. So see how easy this backing peels off? Um, these are really nice products. I used this earlier. Um, vinyl, when you're cutting a vinyl stencil, can come in different qualities. And this is a really nice quality product. It's very easy to use. Um, if you have a shop, these are great for pallet parties in your shop. So now that I've taken that backing off, um, this is my stencil, it's backwards. So Rhonda Joe said she's a consultant. She wanted to see if she'd learn anything new. Oh, yeah. I don't think I can teach you anything. Please help me if I'm using it wrong. Um, once I peel that backing off, this is tacky. And so when we place this onto our palette sign, it's gonna adhere to it. So I really like this. I've got some cute knot holes in mine. Um, you could do as thin of a layer of paint as you want. You can use some water for your paint and just get a wash if you were to really see the wood grain in here. Mine's a little bit more opaque and then I did shade the edges with a bit of Dixie Belle caviar. So now I have my adhesive stencil and I'm going to take this, I'm going to use the lines on my palette sign to kind of line this up. Lena wants to know where you got the stencils. Um, palletparty.org. If you go to the website, palletparty.org, um, they have partnered with Dixie Bell Paint to offer all the materials for um, palette parties and also for do-it-yourself palette signs in your home. Laura says your YouTube videos taught her how to blend. Ooh, <laughs> I'm gonna be blending tonight. We're making. I gotta be a little bit of a, you know, Jane of all trades. So once I've adhered this, now I'm committed. So I'm gonna take my card again and I'm gonna. I want to get some good adhesion between my um, stencil and my sign. Okay. Carol says hi from Florida. Hi, Carol. Or South Carolina. You guys are having a good evening. It's early here in California. It's only five o'clock, but you guys are later. Now, are these stencils reusable? No, this is a one-time use thing. Although I will tell you something. So earlier when I made this sign, um, here for my sister. Let's, let me show you guys. When you peel it off, it's going to look like this. But I wanted one more paw print. It came with two and I wanted three. So I was able to reuse this enough to get one last paw print out of it. I just took this little section right here, stuck it back down. It is still sticky, but when you peel it off, it's going to want to tear and rip. So, you know, I would say limited reuse, <laughs> as reusable as this could be. Um, it is a single use, but they're very reasonably priced. And if you compare it to going to a craft store and purchasing um, a roll of vinyl to cut a stencil yourself, it's 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 a very reasonable price. Um, I wanted to say they start in the $10 range. So now this is my transfer tape here that I'm peeling off. I'm going to start peeling this back. I want to leave all of my black stencil attached to my palette board. Um, they recommend kind of rolling it, and that worked really well for me earlier, too. Shelby wants to know, do you seal this? Yes, so once you've got your, as it is right now, I'm not going to, but once you've got your completed sign, you can choose if you want to leave it rustic with the exposed paint. This one does not have a sealant on it because I just did it today, but I'm going to put a clear coat over this, a Dixie Bell clear coat. You could put a wax on this. Um, it just depends on... If you're going for a more rustic look and you want to leave it unsealed, you absolutely can. Now, Lana also wants to know if you place it, can you remove and try it again if you misplace it? Um, as long as your transfer paper is on here, it's I mean, it's adhered to my palette, but as long as you keep it attached to your transfer paper, 
you could pick it up and redo it again. Now every time you're gonna pick it up, it's gonna start getting dirt and debris stuck to the stencil and you'll start compromising the adhesive. So, you know, you wanna try to get it right on the first time, but if you need to move it around, um, you know, it'll give you that a little bit of forgiveness. Yeah, see here, I peeled this up in this corner. Now I need to restick it. There we go. But I can restick it, and it's not wanting to peel up as I pull this, so it still has adhesive on there. Tanya wants to know where you get the wood board. The wood board is available at palletparty.org too. This is all from Pallet Party, you guys. They offer everything. They offer um, when you get this, you will get the stencil. You will get where are my instructions. A very detailed instruction sign. You will get um, the card that you need. And then they also offer, oh, I'm sorry, when you get your pallet board, it also comes with a hanging hook that you can hammer into the back to be able to hang this to a wall. Um, I'm gonna use this in just a minute and I'll show you, but this is a picking tool that we'll use to pick the vinyl off afterwards. This is all available from palletparty.org. Um, as I'm peeling this back, so for example, the little center of my S right here is separated from the stencil. So I just need to make sure little pieces like that don't pull up when I'm pulling my transfer paper off. We want this stencil to stay on here and I'll pick this up after I get this off and show you. It really is a nice quality because this can be hard to do sometimes to transfer a stencil without pulling pieces up and it does it really well. You know, if you think about the insides of letter O's and A's and, um, yeah, look how clean that just came off. So can you once again go over the, what you actually order, what you get? So you can choose on there, the side, you guys, you can use these stencils on your walls at home. You can use them on furniture. You can use them on glass, um, like a mirror, um, so you can choose if you just want to order the stencil itself and use that somewhere else. But if you want to actually make a pallet sign, they offer the wood pallet signs on palletparty.org as well. Okay, so this is my transfer paper. It's come off. I've got a nice clean stencil. I'm going to go through and just press it down and make sure everything is still nicely adhered. <laughs> I would have to agree with you, Laura. I think your husband would kill you if this ended up on a wall. Really? <laughs> oh, I think these are cute. You guys, if you go to like Target or Home the Just Target, the stencil, not the, the... Oh, the stencil. See, you can paint stencils on your wall and it's just paint. If it goes out of style or you want to change your decor, a paint roller and it's gone. So I think um, th this is our stencil. This is not what's actually going to stay on here, what you see. This is the piece of vinyl now that I've got on here. And we're just going to use it as a stencil. So now that I've got my vinyl stencil adhered, I'm going to take my Dixie Belle clear coat. And what this is for is we're going to use this to seal around the stencil. You can get bleed through under a stencil sometimes, even though this is adhesive. And the clear coat will, um, it will allow your bleed through to bleed through in clear instead of it bleeding through in, in your paint color. So I'm gonna take my Dixie Belle clear coat in satin finish, um, a little bit on a brush. I love the Dixie Belle clear coats because when you put them on, they show up a little bit white, so I can see where this has gone. And then as it dries, it's gonna start drying clear. So I'll be able to tell once this has started drying. So I'm gonna go through and put this over all of my stencil. You wanna make sure you get good coverage. So I kinda of use a circle motion on here. Um, I think this would be a fun project though, you guys, if you had some of these, you know, and all your girlfriends and a glass of wine, like this would be a really fun project to do together. And then you get to choose the colors for your sign. You get to choose the message that you want to put on there. So these are great gift options with the holidays coming up um, that you can really personalize for the person who's going to be receiving it. Okay. So I'm going to put this over my entire sign and then any spots that might have bled through, it's going to bleed through the clear coat. And then when I come back with my paint, my paint will not want to bleed through on these lines and I'll get really nice, clean stencil lines. I'll let you come in close on here, but you can tell we did the same thing on here. 
Look at how clean the lines are around the lettering. It really, it gives a professional looking finish, like a, you know, as close as you could get to a, to a factory or machine finish look, like you purchased these in a store. You know, this process reminds me of when we were painting the walls with stripes to keep oh, your stripes from yes, not bleeding from yes. one to the next. If you're trying to paint stripes on Little anything, tip. on your furniture, if you use clear coat um, underneath it, it will keep your stripes from bleeding through under tape if you have textured walls for Especially example. textured walls. You want to make sure you get really good coverage around all of your lettering. I don't want to leave any texture behind on my lettering so when I come back and paint it. Come down here and do, so this sign says, this kitchen is seasoned with love. That's about all my kitchen is seasoned with because I do not cook. <laughs> Uh, but I think this is a cute sign. If I had to choose, I really liked a lot of the holiday ones were, I mean, so cute, so cute. And that you can personalize them. So you can use, you know, your Dixie Bell Honky Tonk Red and Evergreen and um, or whatever colors you decorate for your holidays with. If you do a peacock Christmas tree, you can personalize it. So Angela wants to know what you were putting on. So I'm going to pan over to this jar. So this is Dixie Bell Clear Coat in a satin finish. So I'm coating this in Dixie Belle clear coat just so that I don't get bleed through when I put paint over my stencil. Okay, so now I've got this covered in clear coat. For the sake of time, I'm going to run my hair dryer over this. Um, I would not probably normally advocate using a hair dryer on these, and the reason is because heat and vinyl, the heat, uh, the heat from your heat gun can heat up the vinyl and it gets malleable and it can compromise the adhesive, adhesion of it or the shape of it. So if you're going to introduce heat to it, I would use this very, very, very cautiously. I'm going to use this for the sake of time for our video. You guys will notice as I'm going through this, my clear coat, where you see that it, here it's kind of white on here, the spots where it's starting to dry, it turns to clear and I don't see it anymore. And that's how I know my clear coat is drying. the drying of this clear coat literally takes minutes minutes to dry you know just that little breeze with my hair dryer and I can already see that it's dry in most places um, it also goes from the um, glossy look of a wet of a wet sealant to the satin finish that I used so now I can tell that's nice and dry so for my colors I'm gonna do a couple different things I'm gonna try some Dixie mud on this I haven't tried this before but I'm gonna put some Dixie mud on my fork and my spoon up here um, Dixie Mud is a texture additive, so you can use this on stenciling to get a sort of raised effect. This is a very thin stencil, so my raised effect is going to be ever so slight. But I'm going to take my Dixie Mud, I've got a little spatula brush here, and I'm going to put some Dixie Mud right over the top of this fork. So Karen wants to know if the clear coat is the same as the Dixie Bell stencil sealer. Um, Dixie Bell stencil sealer. I don't... I'm not familiar with Dixie Bell stencil sealer, but yeah, it would be the same as a stencil. Oh, I'm sorry, on palletparty.org. Yes, it is. That's exactly what they use. If you go to palletparty.org and watch their videos, they use the Dixie Bell clear coat as their stencil sealer. If you order that, what you're getting is Dixie Bell clear coat in satin finish. Okay, so I put a little bit of texture additive. So what I did there is um, when I peel this off, those, that fork and spoon are going to be slightly raised above my stencil level. I just thought that would be really cute. And then I could hit it with some silver gilding wax and get a, a raised silver fork and spoon look. So we'll do that. And then my background on this is Dixie Belle Stormy Seas, which is kind of a dark blue gray color. I thought gray and blue and white would be really pretty against that. And then let me get one other color here.
the colors in, in my living room that you can kind of see, I do have some mustard tones in there. So I'm going to use the mustard to kind of accent this. All right. So I'm going to use Dixie Belle Cotton is a white. Dixie Belle Caviar is going to be a black. When he says hi from Montreal. Yeah. <laughs> with my caviar today. Oh, man. There we go. <laughs> All right, I couldn't get that one open earlier. Okay, and what I'm gonna use is I'm gonna use stencil brushes, and I really like these. These are my, um, these are from um, Prima Marketing, and these are by Finnebear. They're little stencil brushes with natural bristles on them. These are excellent, excellent stencil brushes, my favorite by far. But another option would be these little dabbers you can get at the craft store, and they're really inexpensive, um, and they're disposable, so that's another option that you can use. But I'm gonna use my stencil brushes today. So, I mean, I can customize this any way I want. I think I'm going to start out with some white because I think the white will be really pretty against the um, against the dark gray background. And I just got paint on my sign, so don't do that. I'm going to start up here, and I'm going to just dab into my stencil. I'm going to be really careful that I don't go outside the stencil line because that will get it onto my palette. And then let's see, I kind of want to mix some colors. So I also got out some metallic silver. I thought the metallic silver would be really pretty against the stormy seas. Okay, maybe it's me. <laughs> now I'm starting to think it's me. I can't open any of my containers today. So I'm going to take some of the silver. You know, it just needs to be shaken up a little bit. Joyce says, hey, from Gulfport, Mississippi. Ooh. And Robin's in Missouri. How are you guys doing over there? So it's kind of late this evening for you guys on the um, East Coast. We're just at like dinner time. We're going to go out to dinner after this. So I'm going to take some of my silver. What? Oh, yeah. I forgot to tell my husband. He's buying, by the way, if anybody wants to join us. <laughs> you guys, thank you so much for watching. This is a new partnership for Dixie Bell with PaletteParty.org. So I added some metallic silver on top of the white. I just think that'll be pretty mm. to add a little bit of sparkle to Debbie it. says she uses makeup foam pads to stencil. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's perfect. That's a great idea. I've heard people will cut up pieces of um, um, magic eraser and use those. So yeah, if you've got experience stenciling, whatever works for you. So I'm going to do the word kitchen here in black. So, so how long before the race stencils dry? So how long before that paint's going to dry? Um, you know what? That it's a it's a really thin layer. The thicker you put it on, obviously it'll take longer to dry. But I would say you know an hour or so that'll be dry. I'm going to take the stencil off before then. I'm going to take it off with you guys here on camera, but then I just will be careful not to touch those and I won't put my gilding wax on until it's completely dry. Oh, look at that. Closer to home. Debbie says hi from Valley Springs, California. Oh, Valley Springs. Yeah, you're right here in the area. So that's probably, so Debbie, we're out in El Dorado County, just outside El Dorado Hills, um, just outside Sacramento, California. So you're probably a good, a good hour from me still, but we'll still call that local because Sacramento is a really big area. Dara says hello from Wisconsin. Hi, guys. Restoreology says hi. So again, I get to I get to personalize this to the colors of my home or whoever's going to be receiving this as a gift to the colors of their home. Um, I'm stenciling the word kitchen in black. You know, I just want to set off some of these words against the background. My background on oh. this is Stormy Seas. Marjean is in Placerville. Oh, oh my gosh. Marjean, you could come to dinner with us. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to come back with my white, and I'm going to do this is season part right here. George says, banner. wish Chicago had our beautiful weather. Uh, there's a price to pay for beautiful weather. Yeah, we have some fires going on right now, you guys, some pretty serious fires, which is sad for us because my husband and I are from Santa Rosa, California, and um, that's our hometown, and they had serious fires last year and now we're going through it again so I don't know it's really hard to watch I'll tell you that okay so I did this part in white and then let's see what other colors could I introduce on here that would be kind of fun you know maybe I'm gonna try I have out some Dixie Belle sandbar who I think would be really pretty against this which is a sandbar is kind of a cream tone I'm going to take my sandbar and do this word right here. I 
Okay. Dixie, sorry, Dixie Boss says stay safe. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's some serious weather going on right now, you guys. Fires in California. I hear you guys are having snow on the East Coast. Well, it's fortunate and unfortunate that we haven't really had rain. I mean, here we are, first week going into the second week of November. Yeah, we need some rain right now. Pray for rain in California. Okay, so I did that with the sandbar, and now I wanted to do this love. This is going to be my kind of focus word on here, and I'm going to do this in Colonel Mustard. I love that color. Well, the I name. Have, I have pops of mustard around my house. It's kind of a bold accent, and I love it. With navy, it's gorgeous. It doesn't take a lot of it, and it just really makes a great statement. Um, Christana Kusana Bella Renovar, I dared me to do a yellow piece, and it's in my home now. It's one of my favorite pieces, but if it wasn't for her, I would have never experimented. So uh, it's always good to get your limits pushed, guys. Okay, you get really nice coverage with Dixie Belle in a single coat. I'm gonna run my hair dryer over this again and just dry these a little bit, and then there's a couple places I'm gonna put another coat on too. <laughs> Karen says they're getting a lot of rain in Louisiana. We can have it. <laughs> Thank you. That is so generous of you. So I'm going to do a second coat on my white, and I really want to get a nice, clean coverage on the white. So I'm going to do a second coat on these. This is totally optional. If you want your wood to look to show through, you can do a second coat, or you can um, leave them translucent if you want. This is where you really get to customize the look of your sign down there and then up here I have some white too so come up here and do that and where did you get the stencils again so the stencils are from palettparty.org palletparty.org and they offer about 900 different options with more being added every day um, there's a lot of fun holiday options on there right now these are just a couple that I have here but I mean I mean you can't even imagine and they come in all different sizes and shapes and Pretty much whatever you could want to make. They also do custom stenciling. So if you wanted a stencil of your last name with a monogram, um, you can do that. Um, and they will create a custom stencil for you. So for all of you who don't own your own vinyl cutter, you don't need to own one anymore. So I'm going to run my hair dryer over this and then we're going to see where the magic happens. I was just gonna pan the camera. This hair dryer is out of my garage because it's my broken hair dryer. <laughs> it's broken, it doesn't turn off. <laughs> so I have to unplug it. So sorry about that. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. We gotta shut it's the house power off. Yeah, it's a little temperamental. <laughs> sorry about that. It didn't want to turn off. These are my boys out here. They're ready to go to dinner. Can you tell? This is my youngest, Logan. <laughs> Say hi, Logan. Logan's my four year old. Or not. Okay. So once you've got all your paint on and it's somewhat dry, you can start peeling your stencil off. And this is gonna reveal what you've just created. So, you know, I, someone asked if this was reusable. Well, it just ripped right there, but you could be extremely careful with this and you could try, um, but they're not intended to be. It's intended to just be disposable. Um, th these peel off really, really nicely, though. Say hi, Logan. <laughs> he did have a nap today, guys, I swear. I know, it's just because we won't let him ride our scooters. I told him he has to learn to ride his own. And I told him I will, but maybe you not me. Mm -hmm. Leanne says hi. Hi guys. So I'm peeling my stencil off right now. 
And you can already see the letters start to come. And then I'm going to show you how we get um, all of the definition. And you see the parts that are still stuck on here. How cute my fork and spoon are, you guys. So cute. Okay, and then this is where you will take your picking tool. If you don't have a picking tool, um, it's just got a sharp edge on it. A pair of tweezers works really nice for this. So this is where I'm going to take my picking tool and the places that are stuck, like the center of an O, will be left behind because it wasn't attached to anything. I'm going to pick that off. And then here is the center of my H. Um, you don't want to pick too much into your wood because you can... Um, Break it off. Yeah, you can mark into your wood, huh? You guys, this would be a fun project for kids, too. You guys would love to do something like this, huh? Yeah. So you could even bring your kids in and do a, a holiday project, gifts for teachers and grandparents. Or we um, can send our kids to them. Oh, yes. Our kids will volunteer <laughs> to help you with your craft projects, guys. It's a rental program. Yeah. Very inexpensive. Very. So this is where you'll come through with your picking tool and you'll just remove any pieces that are left behind on your stencil. See, this one's tiny and I don't want to pick into my wood. See that? How cute is that? Okay, now this is another area down here that's got some tiny lettering. So the smaller your lettering, the more oh, detailed boy. your picking is gonna to have to get. So here, I've got some really small lettering and this will take me a while to pick. But look how clean the lines are, you guys. I love it. It actually gives a really professional looking finish. I'm watching. Oh, Caleb, you wanna to come to the other side of Mama? Are you trying to see what I'm doing? Um. Okay. Yeah, you guys, my kids will love to do these. All you have to do is send me addresses. <laughs> we will ship them FedEx. We're those parents. Um, so yeah, like I said, great, great gifts for Christmas. Very fun thing to do. I actually would really like it as a teacher's gift. So you can see where I'm going with this. I'm going to sit here and continue to pick these off. Um, my paint is still a little bit wet. Mama's going to do it right now. It's so easy. Even a four-year-old could do it. Yeah, I can sell you guys on that. If my paint was dry, I'd probably let him try. My paint's still a little bit wet right now. Yeah. All right, and this one should be our grand finale, right? Do I can have any other ones? Oh, wait, go ahead. And then I, Did I get need them you all to show guys? me the tool. Nope. A tool that reminds me of going to the dentist. Yeah. Can you, see the... you can use this for picking your teeth. No, hold on. Yeah, well, <laughs> maybe not like that. Okay, hold on. It's a double-sided tool. One. Turn it a little bit. There we go. All right. So, I mean, honestly, that was for you, my Laura. husband's right. It is like one of the dental tools with the sharp edge. Um, I've used a pair of tweezers for this before, and it works great. So, you guys, this is my sign. Like I told you, I used a race... Um, Dixie Mud to do my fork and my spoon. So once these are dry, I'm going to come up here and use a little bit of um, silver gilding wax on top of the raised stenciling. Um, but I need to let that dry a little bit. But this is the bait. This is basically the product that you come out with. And then I'm going to probably choose to sand the edges so I get a more rustic look. And then I'll seal this with my Dixie Belle clear coat. And I've got a really personalized sign. Um, all made with products from Dixie Bell and pelletparty.org. So how cute are those? These are just two messages that I they offer. A the house party. is not a home without paw prints, and this kitchen is seasoned with love. Very cute. So that's pretty much it, you guys. I will finish these up, and I will get um, photos of them posted. But um, you saw how simple that was. It's a really, really nice quality product that's simple to use, even for beginners. Uh, did I forget one? Oh, I did. Good eye. I forgot the dot of my eye. The tiniest one on there. Dough. There we go. Good Mom, eye. Mom, I saw two. You saw that one too? Mm-hmm. All right. So you guys, if you like this, go follow me on Brush by Brandy. Um, 
I'm a furniture painter out of Sacramento, California, and a brand ambassador. If you like these products, go check them out. Just go shopping on palletparty.org and see everything they have to offer. If you have any questions, feel free to post them, and I'll go on afterwards and answer all your questions. Um, but thanks, you guys. Have a great evening.